Well, my next guest, Blue Star Mothers, has been on. I think they do uh, very important work for our men and women who serve all around the world. Because remember, our men and women who serve don't always have a commissary. That's where Tammy and her Blue Star organization comes in. They send these beautiful box, but I'm going to let her tell you all about it again because you need to be reminded. Please make welcome to the show, Tammy Murphy, everybody. <laughs> Glad to have you here. Anything we do for our men and women who serve, you know how I feel about that. I sure do, and we appreciate your support all through these years, too. Six years, can you believe it? I know, We're it's been a while. We're in our sixth year. It's hard to believe. That's great. So what's new, something going on special with Blue Star? Well, as you know, we are into our big uh, fundraising push for the year, mm -hmm. and um, this is the annual event that we do that really takes care of our financial needs so that we can send those care boxes out to our deployed troops for the balance of the year. So this is the most important event that we have. It's our ninth annual Charity Golf Classic, and it is going to be held uh, Saturday, June 18th. It's a shotgun start, starts at 8.30 in the morning. Um, we have lots of opportunities for people to participate. If they like to golf and they want to be a part of it, it's basically a four-person scramble, men and women. Um, we'll have all kinds of prizes and opportunities to uh, socialize and learn about what's going on and how we can support our troops. Um, yes, sir. Food? Oh, of course. <laughs> My favorite. <laughs> of course. There's, there's food. We start you off with some breakfast items and then jump start you out into the course. There'll be some snacks along the way. Our moms stand out there on the course at certain holes and make sure everybody has some refreshments and then Give that date again I it is you say that a lot that is uh, Saturday June 18th again starting at 830 in the morning it is at the Beaver Creek Golf Club mm -hmm. and uh, they do a great job for us out there last year was the first year that we had uh, rain out but the um, Beaver Creek Golf Club took care of every one of our uh, our participants out there and gave everybody a rain check. So that's the first time we've ever had to oh. encounter that. Okay. So this year we should have a full slate of uh, people coming out to play golf. Uh, and again, lots of opportunities for those that maybe don't play golf that just want to be there and be a part of it. Oh, that's super. Absolutely. I want to remind people, because I think it's important, <coughs> that um, you've moved to Clio Road. Correct. And it's right around the corner from uh, My Valley Cable. And give them that address because every Saturday from 12 to 4, you can go and help these ladies make these boxes and pack them for our men and women who serve. Right. We uh, do our Saturday packings. It's actually from 10 a.m. until 2 p.m. And we're at the what people know uh, as the old Sears um, repair store. So it's mm -hmm. at 6661 Clio Road in Centerville. And it's beautiful because I stopped out we've there. We've been beautiful. very blessed with having that oh, location yeah. and, and being able to set up our troop center. It allows us to be able to show inventory <laughs> of those items that we take, the donations that we receive from our communities, and very easy then to put into boxes and send out to our military. Well, they can either help with the boxes or if they're kind of on a busy schedule, they can drop off uh, a donation. Too. Absolutely. We have a lot to of people that... pay for your postage because that's... That's going up, it's not going down. Well, Rob, you know, we had that big change this year, yeah. and, and as much as we wanted to make things stay the way they were, when it comes to those boxes that we send, you might be familiar with the priority boxes. They have a weight limit, and you can get as much packed in there, and then it was a flat rate. Mm -hmm. Well, they've changed the um, boxes that we're allowed to use, and so we are basically looking at we can put less weight in, and it costs us three times as much. Mm -hmm. So that's the real reason for our fundraising efforts this year is we, we've got to make up the difference on postage. And in my opinion, they should be totally ashamed of themselves with what you guys do. How they sleep at night is beyond me because, as I said, you know how I feel. If these men and women need to get everything they need, we come second. And there's no reason that for you guys to raise that price. They should have sent it and kept it the way it was. And they should be ashamed. Am I right, everybody? They should be ashamed. <laughs> Seriously. Well, of course, we've written some letters. We're trying to get some assistance in this. And, and you know, it, it, as you mentioned, and, and a lot of people don't realize that just because our military men and women are in the, the military, mm -hmm. they are not necessarily given the provisions. Right. And maybe it's just some of the niceties that we like, snack food. But if you're thousands of miles away from home and you otherwise don't have any support, the difference in receiving a care package like that and getting through another day 
is so instrumental to so many of our military mm -hmm. that we know this is important. <clears throat> you know, the first time I came out there and I was helping the girls make those boxes and be a nuisance, <laughs> um, I saw never. gloves and I'm thinking, it's hot in Iraq, but not in Afghanistan mountains. Right. I never thought about donating gloves. Right. You just don't realize the different areas that they work in, what they can really use. Well, and that's where we really get a lot of good information from those um, that are over there. Mm -hmm. Our sons and daughters can give us information that's very helpful and what do we need to send to them. Um, things that we wouldn't think about are th priceless to them to receive. Yeah. So we, uh, we, again, I want to thank our community because our Miami Valley region has been so great at taking care of our military and supporting. Uh, we get donations from them on a regular basis and we just never want to lose sight that there are always those that are deployed and for that reason it's important to keep up with what we and do. And the Christmas boxing up is fun, isn't it? Oh, it's, a, it's cool. a blast, absolutely. Right. Thanks for coming, Tammy. Thank you, really Rob. Appreciate, appreciate it. That. Appreciate you know you're always welcome back. <laughs> Tammy, everybody, Blue Star Mothers.